This is the quickest way to animate MetaHumans for free. If you've ever tried importing animations to your MetaHumans in Unreal Engine 5, you've probably faced the daunting task of naming the IK rigs and creating retargeters, which although are amazing efforts by Unreal Engine and Epic Games to simplify the process, they could be confusing for some people. And hence why in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my own simple method that allows you to capture and transfer animations to MetaHumans in the quickest way possible without almost any manual retargeting or animating. All right, so for our animations, we're gonna be using this powerful tool that just got released called Rococo Video, which essentially is a platform web-based AI motion capture that allows you to feed it a 2D video and it spits out 3D animation data for free, unlimited. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out. And once you do sign in, you come up to this page right here. You're gonna create a new scene, call it whatever you like. We're gonna call it poop because I like poop. You can either pre-record a video and select a file in your computer or use your own webcam. I already have a file right here. So I have a clean footage of me doing this stupid dance. The steps are pretty simple. If you follow it, it's just upload and process animation. That's it. So we're gonna upload. For example, this one. Wait for it to upload. And once you have it here, turn it into animation. It's as simple as that. In the meantime, make sure you go ahead and download Rococo Studio because once the animation is done processing, it will just open up a new project in the software on your PC and you can automatically export it from there. So once you're in Rococo Studio, make sure you go ahead and find your project. In my case, it's the Wednesday Adam dance and I was looking for the octopus dance. And as you can see, Right here, the animation looks perfect. For the export settings, we're gonna copy exactly my settings right here. FBX, no body mesh and no face. Skeleton preset needs to be Unreal Engine, so the bone names match the ones in Unreal Engine so we can easily transfer the animation. And for the rest, just copy, export clips. Once you're done, go ahead to Unreal Engine 5. Now, once you're in Unreal Engine 5, go ahead and drag and drop your MetaHuman in the scene like so. We're gonna bring in Wednesday Adams, boom. And once you have your MetaHuman, I want you to go in and create a new folder right here in your content browser. We're gonna call it Imported Animations. And go ahead and drag and drop the exported animation from Rococo. Mine is Octopus Dance, like that. For the skeleton mesh, we're gonna drop this animation on top of the MetaHuman base skeleton, which is gonna be there if you have your MetaHuman in the scene. For the animation length, we're gonna go for animated time. And for everything else, we're gonna keep it as is and make sure you have used default sample rate. Import all and clear any warnings. It's not important. At this stage, we have the animation ready to go on the MetaHuman skeleton. However, it's gonna look really weird like this and I bet you don't wanna use this sort of animation. So let's go ahead and fix it. In the skeleton tree on the left-hand side, we're gonna go ahead to the setting and gear icon and gonna check show retargeting options. The thing you're gonna have to memorize here, although this is all intimidating if this is the first time you're looking at it, is all of these are the different bones in the body of the metahuman. Now, the retargeting translation here is being done wrongly, so all we have to do is go in and fix it by memorizing that the root has to be animation, the pelvis has to be animation scaled, and everything below the pelvis has to be skeleton. And the way we do that is by selecting everything below the pelvis. So click this, go all the way down, hold shift and left click this one, right click and recursively set translation retargeting to skeleton. All of these are the different options that you can change it to. We want it to be skeleton. And once we do that, if you look to the right, the animation does not have those stretchings anymore and it looks a lot better. However, we still have the arms protruding in and the clavicles protruding outward. So it still looks like a chicken instead of a human. And this is the part that took me the longest to figure out. So here goes the secret. Now we're going to fix this problem by simply moving her bones. We cannot see the bones right now. So go to character, bones, and all hierarchy. Voila, you have the bones. If they're too big, just go back here and change the bone draw size. We're going to make it kind of small, like so. In the search bar, in the skeleton tree, or just select them right here. I'm just gonna show you if you just search for clavicle, we have the clavicle L, which I need to push inwards because it's going out. So we're gonna go to the global rotation right here and move it like so. Look at that. She already looks a lot better. 
Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the other side, clavicle R, and we're gonna move it in, boom, just like that, easy. Maybe even move it down a little bit. And now her upper arms look a little bit weird, so we're gonna push that out. We're gonna take the upper arm on this side, push it out, maybe even rotate it a little bit so it's like that, and then bring it back in. Just play around until you feel like you got something right. I'm pretty happy with this. And once you're good with all of these changes, make sure you go ahead and click the key button. It's going to automatically make the changes for everything you just did. And when you play it back, the animation looks a lot better. Of course, you can go ahead and fine tune this to perfection, but for the sake of this um, tutorial, we're just gonna continue. And once you're happy with the way the animation looks, go ahead and save. Go ahead and exit this window, and we're gonna create a new sequence where we can bring in the animation. So add level sequence, call it poop, because why not? Make sure you drag your MetaHuman into the sequencer right here. We do not need the control rig for the body, so we're gonna delete that because we're bringing in our own animation. So click track, animation, and look for the name of the animation you brought in from Rococo. In my case, it's called Octopus. And once you do that, you should have your animation in the timeline, and it is looking fabulous. Of course, again, Rococo Video is a free software. You don't have to pay for a suit. You're not learning animation by manually keyframing anything. This is by far the simplest workflow I've seen to animate something as complex as a metahuman. So I guess all I want to say is I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this helps you out. Find a way to get more creative and spend less time on the actual animation, but more on stories that you can share with the world with MetaHumans and Unreal Engine 5. I do want to say, if this video helped you out, please consider subscribing and sharing this with your friends. And also, I want to say a big thank you to Rococo Video for giving us the ability to animate for free. And on top of that, the things I've learned in this video are a compilation of tutorials I watch from these names right here. So a big shout out to Windbush, Feeding Wolves, JS Films, and also Evan Ball. I hope I'm not butchering your name. I just want to say big love to you guys for all your tutorials. It really helped me out. And I just want to say I love every single one of you guys. Give me a kiss before you go. Until next time, peace out.